morning, everyone. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. Thank you so very much for joining me. Lily Bell is down in her bed, as she always is. Jonah is outside, where he always is, except in winter. Uh, so, yeah, so let's get started here. It's about 20 after 7 in the morning here. But I'm going to Portage this morning, so I wanted to get this in there and that it will upload during the time when I'm gone because it's taking so long. Okay, um, so let's see first what I've been stitching on. This is Country Living by Everyday E-Crafts. And this is where I was working on yesterday. So I'm, let's see here. So I, I'm working along this roof here. So I'm uh, getting there. But I'm feeling the urge to do something else. <laughs> Don't we all know that urge? So... I think, though, I'm going to stick with this and finish up this purple just so that I have that color done because that's one of the big main colors. Uh, I was able to find out that these um, patterns are in the Cross Stitcher magazine. Oh, now where did I put it? Yes, this one. This magazine from 1997. Okay, and I like this one. <laughs> That's why I brought it back. So, but yeah. So I had a lady who um, has May and June. So that's good. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, yeah, so let's get through here some of my other haul that I, well, it was haul many, 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 many years ago, but it's, um, oh dear, um, but now, like, I haven't seen these in like four years, so it's new to me. <laughs> okay, this is one. This wasn't exactly the one I think that I was after, but close enough. There is this one. Just a minute here. I got to put my... Sorry for turning you. Sorry. There. Come on. Come on. Why is it not going? Come on. Come on. All right, let's try this again. Oh, it doesn't want to go. Oh, well, isn't that a bummer? After all, after all of that. So, yeah, so I want to do this. Um, the only thing is down here, I don't do this stuff. So I'm just going to draw it to a close right here. Um, just do this upper part so it's uh, yeah as you can see here like they go into detail on how to do it no, that's that is not my thing sorry no 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 not my thing absolutely not my thing and um, but there are some specialty stitches throughout but nothing that I can't handle um yeah I don't know if I showed you this one yesterday but I have this one this is cross stitcher see I liked it for this thought it was cute I think that's why I got it originally way back <laughs> This is from, I think it's 
2002. <laughs> so a long time ago. Then I have this one. I love this magazine. Cross Country Stitching. So if you're in thrift stores or whatever and you like this kind of design, yeah, I got it mainly because of the houses. And I have some freebies here. And I have, see, that's another one. Uh-huh. I like that. But see, they keep having here country shops. But I suppose, yeah, I suppose it could just be a, just a continuation. Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, then I had these ones, and these are my working copies, okay? So please don't get all rainy. These are my working copies. I don't know where the original charts went to. I have no idea, but I'm glad I have these because I'd like to work on these. These are told in a garden. Okay, recording. Like I said, these are my working copies, people. Um, this is Blueberry Homecoming. Sorry. Um, this is Peacemaker 2. See, what I, I did was, I would always go, and I'm glad that I did, because now I, my printer doesn't work, is that I'm glad I did working copies, because, I don't know, they must be in some other box or something, the originals, because I don't know. That is the country store. These are told in the garden, like I said. This is grandmother's house. And I know there's a glare and I'm sorry about that. Then I had, I had Amish quilt sampler. I'm just going to kind of show it to you fast because I don't have the front picture of it. Like I said, my working copy. So, there. Okay. Um, then I had, this one was a freebie years ago. I don't know if it still is. It's, it's from Sandman Originals. And this is Halloween. Right, no, and this is the other one, Tulip Row. Okay, oops, wait a minute, sorry. Okay. Um, this was um, ABC Joy. And Thanksgiving dinner, where is it there? This is Australian Sampler. Um, I have a few of the Just Nan. I have the Elizabethan Sampler and Among the Roses. I have the um, Sweetheart Tree. This is Busy Bee Sampler. And then I had this one, which is 
holidays sampler. Then I forgot that I had this one. I don't know if it's, oh my gosh. It's, um, yeah, I must have just copied this out so that I would have it. And again, I'm glad that I did. Now, I'd like to, I would like to try it. And it's called, um, it's from Chatelaine 2006, Indian Summer Reflections. So I have that one, so I won't show you. And I have um, Papillon uh, Creations castles in the air and I guess there are goodness gracious I don't like peacocks so I don't know what I was thinking but it comes in sections which I really like um so you work like this is the inner section and then it builds on that around so each time I finish up, and it's got like your how to um, how to do the stitches. Oh, I know what that was. You know what that was? I got these online. That's what it was. I bought them online. Yeah. So then, like this is. That's what it is. See, there's. Part two is this part right here. So it just keeps building up on itself, which is good because then it's not so overwhelming. But yeah, I'd like to see here. I'll show, I'll kind of show you. Um, let's see, maybe that's not the best one. So here's, here's another picture of it. Um, see, it just keeps building up on itself. Okay. So I have that one. Um, okay. I had a request yesterday on how to do the sewing method. So I'm going to set up here my thingy my overhead thingy if I can get it right so don't mind me when I move around I gotta make sure here where's my okay yeah don't mind the hair on my skirt okay yeah oh wait a minute okay there all right on how to do I hope this goes Oh, Lordy, I hope this goes. It is an ordeal to do this, I will tell you that. Okay, so what I do is, where is my, oh, yes, I was going to show you this. Oops, wait a minute, where is it here? This is um, Aurora by Black Swan. Sorry, the, the camera's on the other side. Like, it's, it should be over here. So, but, um, yeah. I did Serengeti Spirit with this one. And I liked it so much that I got this. But, I don't know if I'm going to do it now. So, I may put this one up for sale. So, let's see here about doing, um, on how I do my, um, how I stitch. Okay. 
and just the thread I was looking for. Alrighty, oops. Just so you know, that's the pills I take in the morning. And that's just morning ones. I have mine in blister packs so I don't forget. And yeah, you know what happened on the weekend. So, okay. So, your, 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 Threads here, sorry, this is so backwards. This thread here, I got to see where I am. Okay, right here. Um, comes in six strands, okay? So then what I do is, is that going to be better? Oh, let's see if I go this way. So then I pull out one strand. And even if I was doing it three strands, I pull them out each individually. And the reason why I do that is not because I want to torture myself. It's because it loosens up that thread. And it... Um, it opens it up so that you can stitch. Okay, so I put the two cut ends. Oh my gosh, still going wrong. The two cut ends together. Okay, is this? No, nope, that's too far. Okay, right there. So I put the two cut ends together. And what that does is it gives me a loop. So then, let me see here. I got to find my, where's my needle? Oh boy. Come on. Where are you? Oh, I had. Okay. Let's take, um, let's take this one out. Okay, so there you go. You've got the two, you've got the loop right there. Then I have my needle threader, my trusty best friend needle, needle threader. Oh, I'd be lost without them. Okay, so then you bring the looped end down farther than the cut end. And then what I do is, let me see here, I'll go over here, okay? Then I bring it through on the bottom. This is when I start out. So there you have the two cut ends are right here. Then I go down. Then I flip it over and pull. And you can see here where the loop is. Okay. So I go right through and pull. Then I come back to the front. Then I start, I go like this. Now if I'm working right to left, I can go this way. So you see here that this is my first arm. It goes down. So then I go right underneath that very first bit of Ada or linen, whatever it is. And do you see here how I push it through? and I pull it like that. Then I put my needle here in the bottom and then I come over two holes to set it up for the next stitch. So 
see and then I do like that okay so the needle barely leaves my fingers actually I think I've always got some of my fingers there touching my my needle okay so you can go along this way now say you're gonna go up and down so then I go I do like a 10 stitch and then I go up and I continue to go up and up till I'm at the top where I need to be. And then all I do is come back down. Okay. And that's how I do that. Okay. Now, supposing I have to go down here. So then I will go I will set it up like that and I will go like that. Very bad. So that my needle is always coming out where I want to put my next stitch. Okay. So there. And there, and there. So say I want to go this way. So I finish up here and I bring it through to the bottom and then I go here. So then I start it all over again. See, just goes in. Then I go this way. And this really works best when you're stitching in hand. Okay. So then say I'm working, say I'm going to work, I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go here. Here and then say I'm going to miss that one. Then I'm going to go over that I want to do this square. So then I go here. And if I have to go back up, then I just say I have to go up over here. So then I go here. And then I can start where I'm working again. Okay. So you're always working on the top of your fabric. Unless, of course, you have to, um, that you can't, you can't reach it because you're, say you got a uh, count and then you got to go one, two, three, one, two, three. So then you can go like that and then, and the ones that you can't get, then you just stab stitch. But you see here how it goes. You just take it and 
I have my finger underneath here. You can see that little divot there. And so I just kind of have my needle there and I kind of round it out. Just just like it's hitting something and coming coming back up. Okay? And then I do that. And then it's the same up here. And believe me, this cuts at least half your time out from stitching. If you can stitch on top. Okay. It is so much easier, so much faster. Sorry if you can hear my stomach grumbling because I haven't had breakfast yet. Um, so yeah, so that's it. So I recommend maybe just going back through pausing at each step and seeing how the, the needle goes and, you know, give yourself time to get used to, to doing this. Okay. If you don't get it the first time, try again. If you don't get it the 10th time, try again. If you don't get it the hundredth time, try again. So it's just like Heinz 57, right? took 50, uh, 57 tries before they got it right, you know, and like WD-40, same thing, took 40 tries to get it um, so that it was right, you know, so it's, it works so much easier, so much faster, and, um, and then if you have to take out, you can just go Sorry, I'm doing this in a little bit of a shadow, so. Okay, so there. Yeah. So, it's it's just, it's so easy. I've done this for 40 years, stitching this way. And it just, it just makes it go so much faster. So. I hope that helps the lady who is wondering um, how I do this. And like I said, just slow down the video and just do it step by step by step. Okay. And before you even know it, you'll be doing this and it'll work just great. So anyway, okay, peeps. That's it. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to Portage. Like I said, I have to take some things back to Walmart. I got to get gas this morning because I was coming home on Sunday on fumes. Today is much cooler. Alexa, what's the forecast? Right now in Oakville, it's 14 degrees Celsius with mostly sunny skies. Today's forecast has showers. With a high of 22 degrees and a low of 12 degrees. Yeah, so it's it's uh, cooler today, for sure. Sorry, I'm having trouble. Please try in a little while. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps. Tomorrow I've got some more magazines to show you from my haul. I know it's it's a it's an old haul, but it's a haul. <laughs> and yeah, so I had uh, a lot of these. Um, oh my gosh, it's got me interested in doing something else. So we'll see. We'll see. So, anyways, may you all have a fantastic day. Uh, from Lily Bell and myself, Ava, with Stitching in the Interlake from Manitoba, Canada. I wish you all a blessed, wonderful, fantastic day, and we'll see you tomorrow. To Loodles, God bless. Bye.